our salmon, which we have cooked. We've chilled it down. I've plated it. What I'm going to do now is re-farm it. I'll regenerate it with the salmon we did yesterday and we slow cooked it. I've made a fish cake from it. And the pulled pork that we did yesterday. What I've done here is small bit of mash, chilled it down, and I'm going to re that as well. In this case, we've cooked everything, we've chilled everything, and now, okay, imagine you're doing a little guest party at home. You have one of these little babies here. You're doing a dinner for, in your case, maybe six or eight people. We could get that amount in here. In this case, I'm only doing, as I say, pulled pork, fish cake, and the salmon. Vegetables cooked, seasoned, everything finished. I've created a little program here, 108 in the cavity, 58, 59 for the fish. I don't want to overcook it. There we go. But again, flexibility. If you're running a small restaurant, guys, or you're running a small something from home, or you're doing outdoor catering, could you imagine if you had one of these babies? You could prepare everything in your own kitchen, bring it with you in cool boxes, Set it up, put it in, serve it. All you have to do here is take it out, sauce it, and off you go. So if you're doing even private dinner parties for, in this case, you get easily two, four, six, eight plates in, right, or more than that, dinner parties for 16. Or you do it in a GM container, and you take it out and you plate it as you do it. Then you can get up to 25, 30 out of one oven. I like the idea of having everything finished, I know I'm not going to run out. I know I have everything basically in control. I have everything on my plate. I will re-therm it when you want it, not when somebody else wants it, and do it. That's it.